Hi, welcome back to the Lum Room. Uh, this is Geshe Makaroch. And what's that lady thinking about? Uh, let's go to the Tibetan text of the Lum Room. She soki rikpa chigle mepa mepe tokala. It means, uh, and, and if you think about it, I think we can feel it together, that to really believe in the past life, it's difficult. It's just difficult. You know, we get wrapped up in this life, and we're focused on this life, and this life is so busy, and there's so many things going on, and it's so concrete. It's here. We can't deny it. And then somebody says, well, did you have a past life? And you're like, look, maybe. I don't have time to think about it now. <laughs> you know? And then uh, I think all of us, we avoid difficult ideas. You know? We don't like to think about things that are difficult to figure out. So I think most of us, we avoid this question of did we have a past life? And I have to say that uh, Dharmakirti uh, proved that there was a past life. It was a difficult proof. Uh, there were different parts to it. Uh, but the basic idea is something to think about, is that according to Buddhism, and, and according to truth, really, uh, life cannot be created from that which is not alive. Okay? Life cannot come from a cause which is not similar to life. Okay, you don't get apples from pineapples. Well, that's not so good. Bananas from rice, you know, it, it doesn't happen. And you don't get awareness of consciousness from something other than consciousness. That's mainly the whole thing, okay? Uh, that's mainly the whole idea. You don't, what, what Dharmakirti was saying, and it was so difficult that I think maybe we didn't feel it, was that you can't take a stone and turn it into life, okay? Life, there's living flesh, and flesh is imbued with life. Uh, and that flesh comes from chemicals. But, it, but the life part in the flesh comes from life. And, and therefore, we must have had life just before we were conceived in this life, okay? All right, so we're going to... Here it says, Rigpa Chigle Mepa Tokka. And that's where we see the young lady having difficulty thinking about. Tokka means, look, it's difficult. And remember, he compared it to seeing emptiness. Okay, it's, it's, it's on the level of difficulty of seeing emptiness. It's, it's difficult to think, you know, where did I come from? Dila Dambo Rigpa Tai Rigpe Ya Ta Tugmed Du Gupe. Uh, this rikpa, in fact, I corrected it and then I uncorrected it. This rikpa does mean your mind stream, okay? It doesn't mean logic or clear thinking. That's rikpa, okay? Rikpa yata tukme to du ge. You must prove dupa. Ge means you must prove that your mind has had no beginning. You cannot point to a beginning, okay? Yata tukme means, uh, yata tukme means Tukme means that you never will hit a beginning point, okay? Uh, ta, ta, ya ta means if you go looking for the first moment of awareness, the first moment of Michael's awareness in history, you will never find it, okay? And again, look at this lady's face, and, you know, it's something we're supposed to think about, and it's difficult. It's just hard, okay? And... What I've learned in a long life is that uh, when things are hard uh, to understand, then you have to stop, and you have to try to understand. You, know, you, have, to, you have to stop. I, I study uh, scriptures a lot, and I work very, very hard on them. And I, I just, over many years' time, I got into a habit that my teacher taught me, and you just stop and you figure it out, and you don't skip it, and you don't go ahead, and, and if it takes you three days to figure it out, then you spend three days on it, because it's important, okay? Uh, means your mind of today. means your mind of yesterday. Gyun means is the flow, okay? The, your present thoughts are the flow or the stream 
of yesterday's thoughts, continuing, okay? And yesterday's thoughts are kanying, uh, kanying uh, means kenyingba in colloquial Tibetan, means the day before yesterday, okay? So yesterday's thoughts are the continuation of the flow of the thoughts of the day before. Yimba ne sung, ne sung means, and you can track it back, okay? You can track it back. My ngel ne kema tak, sem. You can go back to the state of mind you had just after you came out of your mother's womb, okay? Ngel ne ke, okay? Don't forget in Buddhism there's two kinds of birth, right? Ke. One is ngel ne ke, which is here, uh, when you actually come out of your mother's womb. But technically in Buddhism, uh, the moment of conception is the beginning of this birth, of this rebirth, okay? Uh, so if you go back to the state of mind you had on the day that you came out of your mom in the hospital, uh, that's the, what your mind today can be traced back to the state of mind you had Ke kama means just just after you were born, okay, at the moment of birth. But ngaldu shukma tape someday. But you can also track that back to the mind you had. This shuk is the past tense of juk, which means when you entered your mom's womb. Okay, so the state of mind that you had on the day you came out of your mom in the hospital is really the continuation of the flow of the mind which entered your mother's womb nine months and 10 days before, okay? Okay, so you can trace your mind back to, uh, you know, all, all scientists would agree, all Westerners would agree that you can trace your stream of mind back to the moment after you entered the womb. Now, if you existed before that, that's a debate. But nobody would say you cannot trace this consciousness back to uh, the womb, okay? All right. Korwala tobme ta mepe semgi god somba dio shepa. Korwala tobme ta mepa means, tokma means beginning. Ta means front end, okay? So the front end of your lives, of your rebirth, ta me, you can't point to a, to a certain point at which you started, where your lifetimes in this circle started. The name for this life is sansara, which means a circle. And it means that, you know, as soon as you finish one life, you're picking up on another life, and then you pick up on another life, and, another, and it's a circle, okay? Go, tsombatio. Go, this go is spelled aungo, aunganorungo which doesn't mean head. If, it had, if it's maunga narungo, M-G-O, it means head. This go means to begin, okay? So go tsomba means you cannot point to a, a certain point in time, in history, and say that was the beginning of my mind, okay? She kandoa minyepe, you won't be able to find it, okay? By the way, this find is the same verb that we use when you go looking for an object which is not coming from you. When, when you talk about two husbands in a kitchen and you try to find a husband that's not coming from you, that's called nye, same verb. You, know, you can attempt to locate, it's called nye. You can go looking for a husband who's not coming from you, but you won't find it. And you can go looking for a first moment of your awareness, of your consciousness, but you won't find it. Rangi kewala ang tome tame. Therefore, because there's no beginning point of the river of your mind, therefore, there's no first birth that you ever had, okay? Because if there's no beginning point of, your, of the river or the flow of your mind, then there's no first birth either, okay? Tame <coughs> dupla. And this is an old argument which I, I've described to you many times, but uh, you know, uh, in the, in, I, was, I was brought up in school, when I was taught in school, we were taught that things should have a beginning. 
that, and, and then they teach us Big Bang, right? But if you think carefully about it, the idea of a first beginning is illogical. It's not logical, okay? And it's comfortable to us because we grew up with it, you know? Oftentimes when you teach people that, that sansara has no beginning, it feels uncomfortable to them if they learn something else in school when they're a kid. But if you say, look, you're not a kid anymore. Now you're grown up. Now you have to think for yourself. You know, does it make sense that everything has a cause except the first thing of everything? <laughs> you know, that doesn't make sense. Come on. You know, and it, I mean, once you grow up, you have to give up this idea that, there, that a beginning is more logical because it's not more logical. It's illogical. It's illogical that something which goes on in a flow for 68 years shouldn't have a, should have a beginning where it didn't have a flow. That doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, you can prove that there's no beginning to the flow of your mind. And if you prove that the flow or the river of your thoughts or your awareness never had a beginning, then by implication, you prove that you have never had a first birth. You have never had a first rebirth. Okay. Therefore, there is no beginning point to the process of you being born, die, born, die, born, die, born, die, born. There's no beginning to that, okay? Right. I like this image. Uh, I was trying to, you know, my job, part of my job when I prepare for a long room teaching is to find pictures or images that can help you remember the ideas. And again, these are idioms, idea images, and it's good for you. Uh, traditionally in the long room, you're supposed to review three times, right? Uh, right after you get home, after you listen to this, you're supposed to close your eyes and review everything. Then that evening, you're supposed to review again. And then the next morning, you're supposed to review again, okay? And I'm trying to find photographs or images that will help you review. So an easy way to review the long run, what you're supposed to do if you want it to affect your mind, uh, a great thing to do is to go through the pictures that I'm showing you. When you, get, when, you, when you finish the class, right after you finish the class, go through the pictures. Do you remember what that picture represents? Paul, what's the picture of the lady going like this represent? Or Gyalse? Why is she? That was the first picture today. Yeah, she's like, she's trying to figure it out, you know, like, did I have a past life or did I have a past life, you know? And, and don't say you figured it out easily, because if you did, you didn't. <laughs> it's difficult. It's really, really, really hard, you know? So when you see that picture, I want you to think about that. Now, the picture I'm talking about now is this, uh, I don't know, it's an ocean or something with with an Ouroboros, okay. Ouroboros, I don't know how to pronounce it, Ouroboros. Yeah, I like these two images. I put these two images together, okay? That uh, snake eating its tail is called, I don't know how to pronounce it, Ouroboros? Ouroboros? Okay. Uh, and, uh, and it represents a cycle that continues upon itself, okay? A circle which be. A, an ending which becomes a beginning. Can you keep the image up? I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, good. Thank you, Pachi. So I'm thinking of the water in the leg, uh, how, it, how it sits in the leg, and then it evaporates, and then it becomes a cloud, and then the cloud runs around, and then the cloud turns into rain. The rain falls on the leg. And it's a cycle similar to the snake that's eating its tail. By the way, I like languages, and I looked up what's the root of Ouroboros? Ouroboros, okay. And uh, it's very interesting. Uh, 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 sorry, boros means to eat, okay. And, uh, and it's got a lot of roots in Russian. Uh, baritsa means to fight with a sword. 
And uh, Boris comes from that because it's a sword, a sword fighter. Uh, Baris and, and uh, so Baritza means Baritza means to fight with swords and chop up things. Okay, and then Uru comes from Urs, which became Ars, which means your ass. <laughs> okay, I thought it was so cute. So uh, Ars eater, Ars chopper, <laughs> Ars chopper with your teeth means. Uh, the snake that eats its own tail, okay? And I think it's a nice image, uh, a nice Irish image for uh, things that perpetuate themselves, self-perpetuating cycles, okay? And I think it's a perfect picture. In the way that rain becomes lakes, lakes become clouds, and clouds become rain, okay? Dena sendi ama yuba nyanke dangonke ni. Okay, Dena, therefore, Sindhi Ama. Uh, there's a joke when I was trying to get into a Tibetan class when I first started Tibetan. In the, the teacher wanted me to be in the class, but there was this administrator to the college that didn't want me to be in the class. And uh, so they agreed that they would test me with some Tibetan words to see if I could get in the class. And... Uh, so I went into the test. I was really nervous because I knew like five words. And, 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 the, and the guy who wanted me in the class, he said, okay, what is ama and apa mean? And I said, mm, mom and dad? He said, correct, you're in the class. Uh, the other guy was really irritated. Again, okay, Dana, uh, ama yapa shindu means, look, you had an ama, you had a mom in this life. To do Now he says, okay, $50 question for the advanced students in the room. He says, with reference to birth from a womb and to birth from an egg, okay? Why does he say that? With reference to birth from the womb and birth from an egg. Those are the two that come from the mother. Yeah, good, yeah. Two, two kind, how many kinds of birth are there total? Four. Four. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, okay, according to Buddhism, and by the way, this is one of the first teachings of the Buddha, and uh, it's considered a big part of the first turning of the wheel, that, uh, you know, there's four ways to take birth. What's the other two? Uh, yeah, which means uh, when mosquitoes are born from warm water and, yeah, Warm water, tertiary, uh, because they didn't know there were eggs in there. They were too small to see. And what's the other one? Yeah, ziteke. You're born in a lotus, or or like Patanjali, he's born in his mother's uh, hands. Okay. So it's interesting that uh, you know Pabonka is a great debater, although he was a very gentle person and a very kind teacher. He wasn't this kind of arrogant debater type, and. uh, but he's covering his ass. Uh, he said, by the way, with reference to two kinds of birth, okay, kapki amare gupe, you gotta have amare. Re means, re re means each, okay? For each birth, there has to be a mom, okay? Each birth has to have a corresponding mother. Okay? So the re is very important here, okay? Gupe, uh, you gotta have dende kewa chik lembala. Therefore, if you have one birth, which is one of those two kinds, from the womb or from the eggs, okay? Uh, you gotta have one mom each, okay? Amachi gupe, shindu. And by the way, in a debate, if you agree, it's like a chess game, you know? Like the guy's gonna set you up. And he, in the beginning, he'll look very innocent, you know? He'll move upon, and, and then suddenly you realize he trapped you already, you know? with the first two moves, the three moves, you know? And, and so in a debate, you're like, okay, you know, if you're born from a womb, each birth needs a mom, right? And uh, so just one each, right? And, and then you're already committed to countless moms, okay? One, just one each, right? Yeah, okay, one each, I don't have a problem with that, okay? Kewa gya lambana, if you take a hundred births, then you gotta have ma gya, what's that mean? You gotta have a hundred mothers, hundred births, hundred mothers. You, hey, you agreed one to one. 
Dong le ba na Yeah, if you take a thousand rebirths, then you got a thousand moms, okay? Therefore, tang me ge. It must be, you know this chang from Sankhya, Chang Chimba. The count must be, it must be countless, okay? Sem chen tam che ki, ma ma chip e tab me, double negative. The first ma is ma. Now there's two negatives. What's that mean? They say ma ma chip e tab me, ma ma me. Ma, <laughs> ma. Me, there's nobody who, who hasn't been your mom, okay? Mom, my chepe taught me, okay? There's no way anyone has not been your mom, okay? You agreed, one to one. One birth, one mom. Okay, countless births, countless moms. Therefore, everyone's been your mom, okay? I like this picture. I call it, it's just the odds. I, I found this photo, I like it. It's the numbers coming out of this guy's hand. And uh, it's just math, okay? Do you agree that to have one, do you agree that to be born once you have to have a mom? Yes, I agree. Okay, then you agree to countless moms. Everyone's been your mother, okay? It's just mathematics. It's not Buddhism. It's math, okay? All right. De la dita a ma mang de gomme samjen ni taye pe de tamjen ni ama chang minoshina. Now, Pabonka starts to present the natural objections that come up in your mind to these ideas, okay? So, you know, the minute I say, is there one mom required for each birth? Yes. Have you had countless births? Yes. Well, then do you have countless moms? No. <laughs> and then you say, well, but you have to. You know, and you say, no, no. Geshla, you, the Buddhism says many times that living beings are countless. Living beings are countless. So, okay, I understand one-on-one, -on -one, I understand, but how many for countless, you know? <laughs> Living beings are countless. So how can everyone be my mom, you know, all right? Chi rangi kewa mawa mase ki chira, okay? Then he gets, instead of answering the question, he kills the guy with, with more information, okay? Uh, he goes deeper. He says, look, okay, forget your question. Let's talk about the different kinds of beings, okay? Chir rangi ma, mama ma say, look, okay, you're, you've had lots of moms. You want to say not countless, I'm, I don't care. That's all right, okay? But chirak, okay, here's chi chira, right? At the beginning of the sentence is chi with the R, and then chira. So chi means, generally speaking, yeah, you had lots of moms. But uh, more particularly, Let's talk about wild animals. Ridak means uh, wild animals, okay? Uh, animals of the wild, of the wilderness. For example, shawa means a, a deer, and goa means an antelope, okay? And busin means bugs, okay? Insects, ants, you know, grasshoppers, okay? Busin. So, reinan ki lulamang chang me ching. The number of times you have put on a grasshopper body are countless. How do you say grasshopper in Spanish? I'm curious. Santa Montes. Huh? Santa Montes. Celta Monte? Oh, cool. Uh, What's Celta? Jump. Jump, mountain jumper? Celta Monte. Okay, cool. Uh, Celta Monte. So you have been a Celta Monte. Lu Lamba Hong Chang Me. The times you have been just a grasshopper, not other beings, just a grasshopper, is also countless, okay? Forget the human rebirth. You know, the times you have been a grasshopper has been countless. And the different types of beings are countless. The different species of beings are countless. Therefore, okay, among those countless species, you have taken countless births in each one of the countless species. So how many births is that, please? Countless times countless, okay. <laughs> Therefore, you have taken more births than the number of living beings in the universe. 
because they're just stuck in one form of life now. But you have to multiply that times countless. Okay? So don't tell me, Geshla, there's countless beings in the universe. I agree. But don't forget, each countless being had countless rebirth as a as this grasshopper, okay? That's countless times countless times countless. So don't tell me they haven't been your mom. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, it's kind of cool. All right. They say na ama ang chang de tsung gupe, and each time, each time you were born as a grasshopper, you can, we got a bug here, we got a worm here, you got a worm, picture of a worm? Uh, I think so. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about worms because uh, it's springtime. I'm working in my garden. I'm trying not to hurt the worms. Uh, they say they survive if you cut them. Each, each half survives, becomes a worm. But I just keep thinking about, would I like to be cut in half? And I said, no. So I try to, avoid, you know, I try to help them. Uh, and then you've had countless rebirths just as a worm, OK? You've had countless rebirths. Just as a womb. Senjin tam che ki ama che batsam masse. Not only has every living being been your mother, but they have been your mother countless times in each of the countless forms of life. Okay? So everybody has been your mother as a worm countless times, okay? And then multiply that times how many different life forms are there. And that's how many moms you've had, okay? You know, all right? Then he quotes a very beautiful book by uh, Nagarjuna. It's one of the two books I'm thinking to give a friend of mine uh, because it's an it's extremely valuable book. Uh, and it's probably the first Lam Rim, uh, which is Shitting, Letter to a Friend, Suhar Leka, which is really Suhar Leka, and the D changes to L. So Suhar means good heart. And leka means a, a, an epistle, which comes from rika, which means uh, to scratch something. Uh, so anyway, shi uh, ting means letter to a friend. Uh, Nagarjuna wrote a letter to a king named Uday Badra, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and that would be a great text to translate. Mai tukta gyashu tsugutsam. Mai tukta gyashu tsugutsam. Mai Tukta means uh, establishing the ultimate number of moms you've had could be illustrated by Gyashuki Tsugu. Gyashuk means a juniper tree, and we have them tens of thousands around here, which I like. I like them. I think they're beautiful. And uh, they give everybody allergies. But okay. Uh, Tsugu means a, a small ball. Uh, that you make, okay? Like a small ball of, uh, like if you take some mud and you make a tiny ball out of it, that's called a sigu, okay? So, Shesoki Nguten me, Nguten Maima, Te Mala Sopa Jayang. Let's apply that statement from Nagarjuna. And that statement by Nagarjuna is if you sit and uh, you make uh, if you sit on the ground like a kid on a rainy day and you take, you make little balls of mud the size of a juniper berry, uh, how long would it take to run out of planet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. How long would it take to run out of the planet? Okay. So, and, and, and Pabon Gurbache says there's a tradition that you don't, count it the way it sounds. You don't say, oh, this is my mom. You know, she, this person was my mom. This person was my mom. This person was my mom. And then at the end of the planet, you count up everything. Uh, he says, that's not the real point. The real point is, the first ball, the first juniper berry-sized ball of mud is this mom of this life. And then there's the mom of this mom, and then there's the moms of that mom, and then there's the moms. Of, so it's exponential. He's saying that's the real teaching. Because there is an end to the balls of juniper berry sized balls in the planet. But there's no end if you go exponential. Okay. 
Jarkan Kab Dir Lame Sungintar Kagirne, if we adjust this statement by Nagarjuna to fit the oral tradition around that statement, okay, Sungyun means oral tradition. Kagir means if we adjust it, okay. Sad Chamba di Gyashu Kitsigutsam ki Rilbur Sigu Gyashu Kitsigutsam ki Rilbur Che. If we make tiny balls of mud equal in the size of juniper berries out of the whole planet, Sad Chamba di, okay. Rangit Sen Dima, okay. And uh, then we say, This one is my mother in this life. And the second ball is my mother in the life before that. And the third ball is the mother I had in the life before the life before, okay? Uh, and if you put those balls, shock means if you put them, you know, in a pile, zokte, uh, you would reach an end, right? The planet would, would the, the dirt in the planet would run out. But my tangi gyatongi chayam in doe, Gya, gya cha, tong cha means one one hundredth or one one thousandth mindro. It wouldn't represent a tenth of one percent of your mothers you've had. You would run out of planet and you wouldn't reach point zero zero one of the mothers you've had, okay? Therefore, sem tam che, sem jen tam che ki, Mama chena min dangwa. Dangwa means to be sufficient. Okay, dangwa means dangwa dangwa Oma dangwa dangwa. Do we have enough milk to give all the monks tea? Dang means to be sufficient. Okay, and he says uh, you wouldn't have enough balls to represent all the mothers. You would run out. Okay, and it wouldn't. Uh, Semjen kun ki ma tang me re machina machina mi Unless every living being in the universe has been your mother countless times, the math doesn't work out. The math doesn't work out. <laughs> okay, the math is is weird. Unless every living being has been your mother, not once, but Countless times, okay? All right. Sem tam, sem jen tam je ki rangi ma che shing, rede kyan mand che te, sem jen di lu ma lang cha me, ma lang cha wa me, lang ba la chang ki mi chut so sam. Sem jen tam je ki rangi ma che, you got to be, uh, so Tim, in, in this Lamrim section, you have to be careful with the mas, because generally they mean not. But here they mean mom. So, but some of them mean not. So you gotta be careful. Okay, so here, Semjen Tam Jeki Rangi Mache, every living being has been your mother. Re Re Kya And each one has been your mom countless times. Semjen Di Lu Malang Jawa Me. You cannot say there is a body of a life form that you have not taken. There's no life form's body, which you have not lived in. You have dressed in the body of every kind of insect, every kind of whale, every kind of bird, every kind of bacteria, every kind of COVID virus. You have, you have been. Lang jam me. Lang bala changi mi chutsu sam. And there's no number. There's no count of how many times you took on each of the different bodies, okay? Then he says, you want to get deeper? You guys want to go deeper? <laughs> okay. He says, okay, you've been every kind of bug countless times, and there's not enough mothers to be your mother for those bugs unless it's been everybody in the universe. Okay? There's, the math doesn't work out. Okay? Moreover, Dayan, moreover, Let's just talk about the times you were born as a human. Mi ke o lang matabatuna. Ling di sajo dir ma ke jawa me. You cannot point to a square meter on this planet that you have not been born in that square meter. Okay. You cannot point to a square meter in any country on the earth of this world where you have not been born. You cannot point to one. Okay. 
uh, and in fact, I don't know, pick a place in Guadalajara, you know, we talked about all those neighborhoods, right? So the corner of the street that Allah lives on, that meter, uh, you have been born there countless times. Okay? You have been born in that square meter of this planet countless times. Okay, East, south, west, north. I don't care what directions. I don't care what country. Forget countries. There's not a square inch where you haven't been born before. Countless times, okay? And by the way, okay, this world only lasted, I don't know, five billion years or something. It doesn't matter. He's talking about the dirt that you were born on. You've been born on that dirt countless times. And that dirt has wandered around to different planets countless times. Okay. Jiten Rei Lang Tram Meba. The worlds you have been born on are countless. Rei Langbe. Sem Jen Le Kyam Mawe Echi. The number of planets you've been born on countless times exceeds the countless number of beings. Therefore, you have been everybody's kid countless times. Okay. All right. I made this little picture. You guys ready? Uh, uh, yeah, I like this cute little picture of, of our world. Somehow I got it with animals on it, which is cute. And then I like to read science fiction. I'm reading a science fiction book right now about a trip to Sirius, which is my next trip. It's a, it's a star that's not too far away. Blue star. And uh, anyway, uh, it's Pero. Right? It's the dog. Uh, and uh, so I tried to put the stars. Imagine that this world is located at each star. And, you know, then imagine that you have been born in every corner of every planet, okay? In every square meter of every planet, okay? Ma chepa ma se, mi ten la ama ma chepa ang mepe. Not only has everyone been your mother? Everyone's been your mother just in your human rebirth, okay? Therefore, Semjin Tanje Amachi Kyang Yin Nyamdu Sam. So it doesn't matter, Amachi uh, Kyang Yin, it doesn't matter what they are now. Uh, insect, uh, virus, uh, elephant, it doesn't matter. Nyamdu Sam. Think about it. Just think about it, okay? Deta Sam Kyang Makena. Then it's interesting. He says, Deta Samkya Makina means, look, if you do all this uh, logical flow I've been teaching you about mothers, and you don't get it. Okay, Makina, it's cute. He says, hey, okay, everything I taught you today, forget it. Okay, if you don't get it, you don't get it. What the heck? Okay, Makina, I got another approach. Okay, I got another choice. Rangla ma tene me damsena. Then you draw up your hands, you say, oh, goddamn, you know. I'm starting to doubt whether I even had a mother in this life, you know. Okay, like, you know, not only you don't get what I'm trying to tell you, but you start to doubt your own mother in this life. He says, go back to your mom in this life, okay? You don't get all this logic. It's too complicated for you. It's giving you a headache. It's too convoluted. Okay, let's go back to basics. Just... Go back to your mom in this life, okay? You had a mom in this life, right? You can picture her, you know, maybe she's still alive. Let's just go back to there, okay? When this meditation gets too much for you, touchstone, go back to the touchstone. Go back to your mom in this life. You can remember her face. You can remember beautiful things she did for you. Just let's take it back to your mom in this life, okay? You know my own way. Then focus on her having been the mom in your previous life. So don't try to see all living beings have been your mom. Okay? You already have an attachment to your mom in this life. So ride that attachment. Okay? Forget all the other living beings. Forget all the grasshoppers. Okay? Your mom in this life. Monte uh, Sanita? Salta Monte. Okay. Uh, if it's too much for you, just take your mom in this life and imagine that maybe in a past life she was also your mom. You can do that, right? That's not so hard. Okay. Jade Pok Chok Pok here 
The word pok means uh, je pak tema, uh, which means uh, deduction. This is the verb, and it's very unusual. So pok, pok means, uh, you know, use your logic, you know, use your logic. But don't go to all the insects and whales and elephants. Just go to this mom, and she was your mom before. Okay, can you handle that? Yeah, I can handle that. Okay, all right. Uh, I love the next sentence, and I, I, it means a lot to me. And we're going to close with that sentence, okay? Marshe Gomso Dida. Now, this method of meditating on Marshe, what's Marshe? Yeah, realize. She means realize everyone's been your mom, okay? Marshe Gomso Dida. Okay, this whole thing I taught you in the last two days about seeing that people have been your mom, okay? It's only presented briefly in the classical Lam Rims, okay? And he mentions two of them. De Lam, Path to Bliss, which Venerable Gyalse was written by? I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, first Pension Lama. First Pension Lama, 1565, 1662. Pension Los Anchuki Gyanse. Uh, which is part of the Diamond Mountain Advanced Course for ACI. First three courses, right? Uh, that Lamrim. And then there's a commentary. There's, there's a Lamrim which is like a commentary to it. Babonko Rinpoche says like a commentary to it. Uh, by His Holiness, the second Pension Lama, who's Losan Yeshi called Nyorlam, which means quick path, quick path. Okay, so he says, look, if you go to those two classical lam rims, you won't find all these arguments that I gave you, okay? They just give a very brief presentation, you know? Everyone's been your mother, it's logical, and they go on, okay? He says, so where did, where did this explanation come from? Da ki lame dindu kawa chepe langje. I spent a, sh a blank load of hours learning this from my teacher. Okay, and kawa chepa means, and I worked my ass off. Okay, it was hard. Okay, kawa chepa means, I worked my ass off learning this from my lamas for year after year after year after year. Langje means, this is just the footprint of that effort. Okay, the presentation you heard in the last two sessions is just the shadow or the sign of the thousands of hours I spent learning this stuff and trying to understand this stuff, okay? That's just the mere shadow of the effort I put in, okay? Kawa chem is put in uh, effort. Menga ta kisache di kie setawa yimbe. And I've, I've written this presentation, sapche di, means this presentation or this outline of the logic for how many moms you've had. I expanded on it based on the thousands of hours I spent learning it from, from great teachers, okay? And I worked hard, and I'm offering it to you, okay? Like free, okay? If you're a person who's keeping up their Buddhist practice pretty steadily, okay? If you're the kind of person who's responsible about their practice, okay, look, nobody's perfect. You're not keeping your six times book. You're meditating, but you're not keeping your six times book. Or you're doing yoga, but you're not meditating. Or you're, you know, come on, when can we do all those things? Okay, but it, it says if you're a pretty steady practitioner, or Tembe Kur Shepa, this core we discussed in the Abhidharma class recently because it was on an elephant and it related to the 84,000 heaps of Dharma. <laughs> Kur means a, a load that you put on an animal, okay? So uh, sometimes the number of teachings given by Lord Buddha is defined as the number of small books you could load on an elephant the size of this building which is 84,000, okay? Anyway, that's core. Here, Tembe Kur Shepa, are you the kind of person who is gonna take responsibility to keep these teachings alive? Are you gonna be an ALL 
gold club, I don't know what they call it in Mexico. Club de Oro. Yeah, gold club, uh, club de Oro. Are, are you going to be the kind of person who takes responsibility to make these teachings survive on this planet? Are you going to join all those gold clubs and jade clubs and club clubs? And, you know, if you're the kind of person who keeps up a decent practice, okay, not perfect. And if you're the kind of person who says, I'm going to make sure these teachings stay on this planet, I take responsibility. I will raise money, you know, Guadalajara. Okay? It's tough in Guadalajara. It's not like New York. You know? So I take responsibility. If you're that kind of person, uh, Charlene, I charge you. I give you the responsibility. Don't let this teaching get lost. Okay? I worked hard to learn this from my teachers. And I give you responsibility to don't let this mom, mom teaching get lost in the world. It's very beautiful. He's like, please, please, you know, I worked so hard to get it straight, you know, and I, please keep it, you know, take care of it. You know, this llama will go, that llama will go, but each, each generation has to say, yeah, okay, I'll keep this mom logic. I'll be the mom logic keeper. The gold club of Guadalajara will be the mom logic keeper, okay? I take responsibility, okay? Kiechei wa yu means that's a big deal, okay? That's a big deal if you guys can do it. Keep this teaching, this precious teaching. Keep it well because uh, then I like the picture. We can close on the picture uh, of uh, taking care. I don't know. Me and uh, Pachi are working on this uh, carbon sequestering, hey, I remembered the word, uh, program. And it's a big, big thing now. It's, uh, it's in all the newspapers now. Uh, suddenly, I never saw sequester before. Now it's everywhere. And uh, can we take care of these plants, uh, which will store that knowledge? You know? And that's our responsibility. And so Pabonkobche is begging us, uh, please take care of it. Please take responsibility to take care of this mom logic teaching. Okay, so you guys please also take responsibility and we'll see you in the next class.